Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the validity feature, which is on the data tab, as you can see, I've got it there. So this is what I'm going to look at. I've got a couple of examples already set up. This one, little drop down list, you select a code, and then the codes can only be from this list. If you don't select a code, this is all moving by the way, I'll just move this out of the way, in fact I'll delete that. When I select a code, there is a VLOOKUP going on behind this message here. Whenever I select, it's then doing the formula for that, picking up the prices. If I type something that's not in there, it comes up with a error message. Naughty can't you read, for example. You have to select something that's in this list, otherwise it's not valid. This one over here is looking at a named range, same thing, same thing. If I click on a cell, it will only let me put whatever's in this list. If I type something that's not in this list, it comes up with invalid value. Now this list is a named range, which is on this sheet called courses. So if it's not in this list of courses, you can't have it. That's what that is. And it's as simple as this. So if I do this one, if I do this one first, I'll just click into a blank cell. I'll color that cell so you can see where I am. So I'm doing it there. I go to the data tab and I click on the option that you want, which in this case is validity. You've got several options. These options, the one I want is a cell range, but you've got a list option, so you can type it yourself if you want. But I'm going for a cell range. And then it's asking you where is the list? Well, the list in this first example is this list of codes. So I've got it in there. So then you've got input help. So you can actually put um, whatever you want really from here. Select courses. And then you've got error, what to put if there's an error message. So you've got the option there to tick that on or not. I'll just leave it on. Stop, warning. Let's go for a warning. Title, error, let's say, and then message, wrong code. Or whatever you want to put, you can put in there. Click OK. Then you should have that list. You get the list. OK, type something that's not in the list. You get that error, wrong code box coming up, which you have to cancel off. So that actually physically stops anybody putting the wrong codes in. So for an invoice, for example, you can't select something that doesn't exist. Now, the named range option, which is this one, which is on a different sheet, I'll just click in down here to do that one and color that yellow as well. So I'll select what I want it to be down here, then data validity, and I pick what I want. Again, this time it's going to be still a cell range, but instead of selecting it, I can just type courses. I'm not going to bother with these two options at the top this time. But uh, same things will apply as to what we did on that one. So courses, and then click OK. And then the drop down list gives you the courses, which is on that other sheet, as I said. Now you can also create linked lookup lists. And that's what I want to do on this one. I'm going through this sheet tab called linked lists. So just zoom this up a bit more. So what I've got here is a list of vegetables, and I've called it vegetable. These are fruits and it's called fruit and then these two the titles are called type and then in this selection area i've got a list that's just going to look at these two options and then when it says make selection i've got another lookup list and it will show me whatever this is so if this says fruit it will show me just the fruit if i change that to be vegetable this list will now show me vegetables only. So it's just showing me that. So this is like conditional for this, whatever is in this option. So this works because of the indirect function. So when I select this, this is only showing me whatever's in there. And that is, in this case, vegetables. Now, how does that work? In this example at the moment, it says peas is in cell A7. A7 says peas. If 
I'll change that to 4, A4, turnip. Cell A4 is turnip. This is the indirect function, so it's saying indirect F1. So it's looking at whatever's in F1. So if I change that to, for example, A8, in cell A8 is a cauliflower. So that's all that does. So when it sits in here, it looks at the named range called vegetable and then returns just vegetables. Or it looks at the name range called fruit and just returns fruit. That's what it's doing. Using names is critical to this for this to work, so that is why that works. You need to use names. Now this is just another example down here. If I just come across, scroll across a bit. So you've got three hospitals, Newcastle, Northumbria and Bradford. They are called trusts. So the Newcastle area has just got two. It's called Newcastle. Northumbria has got three, which is called Northumbria. And Bradford is two, called Bradford. Now, if I select a trust, so I'm selecting Northumbria, when I drop this list down, I will only see the three that are in Northumbria. The same thing is working there. So if I go into the drop down list area, so validity, get back in there, it's showing me. If I cancel that off, I'm not in the right cell. Get in the right cell. It's showing me the indirect function I8. So this is cell I8. Whatever named range as it is, is in there. It will show me only those hospitals. So Northumbria, this is the named range. Northumbria, so it's showing me just that. If I change that to Newcastle, this will only show me the Newcastle hospitals and I can select from either one. So if I just recreate this on a separate sheet, I'll just get myself a sheet four. So I've got myself two lists. Now I need to name these lists. So I'm just going to name these two cells as process. Press and enter. And then this list needs to be called start. So I'll just call that start, enter. And this list needs to be called end. These are the two bits I want. End. Now I need to use a lookup list there, valid validity, looking at these two, and they're called process, remember, just call them process. So let's have a look at that. So we go into cell range and we just type in there process. Click OK and then check that that works. So start and end, which is what I called them. That's good. So if I select end here, I want only these three available in this cell. So I'll just colour that one in as well. Colour these two lime, lime green. So in this one, I need the indirect function. So let's go back to data, validity, and still cell range. So now I need to put indirect in here, indirect, and it needs to be looking at C2, because that's where the named ranges is. Click OK to that. So if I select the drop down list, it's now just showing me these three. And if I change this to start, it should show me those four. And it does show me those four. So this is all dependent on using named ranges. And then you can do like a conditional lookup list if you like using the indirect function. So hopefully this little video has been of use for you. Thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one.